everybody, my name's Tony, and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. And thank you for joining me. We have an hour together for chair yoga. So making sure that the chair you're on is stable and comfortable for you, and that you've got a little bit of space around you so you won't be bumping yourself. If you want to sit into the support of the back of your chair, go ahead. If you want to sit away from the back of your chair, you could check that out. Notice how it feels for you. Regardless of what it is that I'm guiding, if something doesn't feel right to you, you know your body better than anybody else. So listen to the language that your body is talking to you in, whether it's sensation, whether the breath starts to get a little rapid, a little more ragged, and just notice how your mind is. If you're following along and you feel comfortable and calm and the breath is steady and your body feels like it can move easily in the movement, then fantastic. And if not, listen to that. And you have 100% permission to change things up, to adjust or adapt anything that we're doing. Or even if something else that arises in your awareness that you think your body would prefer, go ahead and do what it is that you need. And if what you need at any point is simply resting, or if you've had enough, then this is a video, you can just turn it off and come back to it at any point, or just skip parts. This is a class for you. And that doesn't mean trying to keep up with anything or trying to um, stay with a, some kind of expectation that you have for yourself. Taking care of your needs and listening to what it is that you need moment to moment is the most important. So coming to a comfortable seat, feet at a comfortable distance for you, ankles more or less under your knees so they're neither underneath you or out in front, just for stability's sake. Root down through your feet. You can even spread the toes wide, even if you're wearing shoes or slippers, and take the feet all the way down to that support underneath them. Wake up the awareness, the soles of your feet on that support. You can even push down a little bit into it. Imagine that your feet into that support could grow roots down, all the way down into the earth, and you could feel that connection downwards. Feel how supported you are in this moment. Awareness up to your seat as well, where it connects to the chair. And we'll do the same thing. You can shift, move a little if you like. As you shift from side to side, if you are, you might notice those two bony bits underneath you. That's the base of the pelvis. Allow the pelvis to sit deeply into the chair. Get that connection downwards. From there, allowing everything from the pelvis downwards to feel connected and grounded. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we'll lift up through the spine. So pushing down through the feet in the seat to find buoyancy through the spine, lifting up to the base of the skull and the crown of the head reaching up. Allow the shoulders to soften down away from the ears and broaden through the collarbones. But not so much that we're um, pushing and forcing the heart open and drawing the shoulders back, just a broadening and lifting through the chest area. Mm -hmm. and take a big breath in. Exhale, circle down into your seat. Another few breaths like that. Feel free to close your eyes or soften or lower your gaze. Those big sweeps of breath. Energy in on the inhale and releasing and relaxing on the exhale. Starting to let go of your day so far, and starting to let go of all the things you're going to do after this as well. And then let the breath come back to its own natural rhythm. Noticing how you feel today. 
Noticing the energy levels that you're feeling. Notice how your body feels. Both the places that your awareness goes to immediately, the familiar places, the places with a little tightness or tension or discomfort. And then take your awareness to the places that feel more neutral. And then notice the places that feel quiet, that feel easy, that feel strong. Releasing tension with every exhale as best as you can. As if you could release just 1% of tension with every breath. And notice if you need to shift anything up, move your body in a particular way to allow that tension to ease. And starting to pay attention to your breath. As the breath comes and goes. And starting to notice the wave of breath. As your body responds to the breath coming in with an expansion, maybe in the chest, the shoulders, maybe even down into the ribs and the belly. And on the exhale, the softening, the letting go, the settling. A wave of breath in the body as the air comes in and out. You might even notice that in your back body. Where is it that your body is responding most to the breath? Where do you feel it most? Not where you think it is, because that's inevitably, we go to the lungs. But where do you feel the breath mostly in your body? Steadying the breath. And at any time, you can come back to this location, this place where the breath feels the most alive for you at any time during the practice. And the feet root down and seat root down and we lift from there and broaden through the collarbones. And we're taking our nose all the way over to the right side. On the inhale, lifting the chin up, gaze up, exhale to the left. And inhaling up, exhaling to the other side in your own time. Allowing that wave of breath to guide the movement. The movement can be big, it can be small. You can adjust it at any point. Play with it, notice what feels better to do more or to do less. Notice where you feel this in your body. One more, either side. And at the end of your next exhale, whichever side you are on, we'll rest. Come back to that steady breath, the wave of breath. This is now the inhale. On the exhale, chin comes down towards the chest, gaze comes down, and we lift up the other side. Exhaling down, inhaling up. And again, this movement can be small, it can be slight, you can even simply sit in stillness and imagine moving if that feels better for you. Or if there's another movement that occurs to you, then go ahead. Allow the movement to follow the wave of breath. Next time we exhale,
exhale, the chin comes down towards the chest. We'll stay there for three breaths, drawing the collarbones wide, noticing if you need to back off or stay as you are or dip deeper. That wave of breath, feel the breath in your body and your body responding to the breath. Next inhale, come. From here, extending out your right arm, pinky edge of your hand reaching towards or on your knee, arm extended, but the collarbone's still wide, so we're not collapsing the chest. Bending from the elbow, inhaling up, fingers up towards the sky, exhaling down, you have the support of your leg. Stay here or Inhaling up and exhaling, allowing the fingers to come down beside you. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Bending from the elbow so the shoulder is easy. Option to stay here or to start to extend from the shoulder. Keeping those collarbones wide. Inhaling, those fingers can come to any height you want. Exhaling, fingers come down, maybe even back behind your hip, depending on the range of motion in that right shoulder. You can play around with what feels good to you. That right hand can come further out, away from your ear, or it can slide close to the body. And again, that'll be different for each and every one of us. Keeping the spine as neutral as possible so the movement really is coming from the shoulder wave of breath. Imagine that inhale lifting the fingers, exhaling slowly and steadily as the fingers come down and maybe back. Inhaling and exhaling another two or resting. More is not better here so stay at a place that feels comfortable for you. And on that next exhale, we're going to take the right hand back to support any movement you need, maybe some circles through that shoulder to ease any tension that may have grown. And then the left arm extends, pinky edge of the hand towards or on your knee from the elbow, inhaling up, exhaling down. Wave of breath is guiding the movement great place to stay here or sliding that hand beside your body. Keep the movement from the elbow to start with. Notice if you're trying to get your spine or your shoulder involved, great place to stay here or adding on, moving from the shoulder. Start small, fingertips come down, maybe even back behind your hip depending on what feels comfortable in that left shoulder. Spine is neutral. You can play with how wide you want that arm away from the side of your body. Maybe it feels more comfortable to be wider or closer towards you. Wave of breath. So that inhale is lifting the fingertips as high as your body feels comfortable with exhaling is drawing those fingertips down and maybe back so allow that wave of breath to guide the full movement notice if you're trying to allow that movement to get bigger because you think more is better let go of that expectation another two here noticing the language of your body Last exhale, that hand comes down. And again, circling through the shoulder in one direction and then back in the other direction or anything else that suits you. From here, if you're sitting into the back of your chair, you could consider coming forward, just giving your spine a little bit more space, making sure you feel stable and secure. Rooting to rise. 
that wave of breath as it comes and goes. Riding the wave of the breath on the inhale as the heart comes forward, elbows come back, hands slide up towards the pelvis. On the exhale, fingers slide forward as we scoop the belly in towards the spine and round into the back body. Inhaling and exhaling. Start small, allow the movement to be as fluid as you can allow it to be. Guided by that wave of breath. Lifting the chin on the inhale, drawing the chin down on the exhale. Seated cat and cows. You can, on the inhale, send your tailbone out behind you to arch into the lower back, only if it feels good. Exhale, sitting over onto the back of the pelvis any amount. Getting that curve in the lower back. Again, more is not better here. You're working with your body with that wave of breath, the breath guiding you. Mm -hmm. Another two here. And that last exhale will come back to center. Mm -hmm. Rooting down to rise. Hands on the arm, uh, hands on the arms, hands on the uh, top of the legs. And then we'll just flip those thumbs forward. On the inhale, we're going to lift those arms up any amount, as wide or as close together as you like, if you're holding a firm beach ball. Exhaling, we'll take it down or resting the palms. Inhaling up, exhaling down. On the inhale, consider lifting up through the spine. And there's that softening and grounding of the exhale. Bringing a twist into this and twisting firstly to the left. Inhaling up. On an exhale, we're going to cactus the arms and twist to the left. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Mm -hmm. And now we'll go to the right, inhaling up. Exhaling, cactus the arms, twisting towards the right side. Inhaling up, exhaling center. Continuing side to side. Resting in between. And if you want to do every other one, if that feels more comfortable in your body, go ahead. Or option to inhale up, twist to the left. Inhale, reaching the arms back up, twisting to the right. Wherever you are, we'll take three more either side in your own time. Glancing back over the twisted shoulder if you want to bring that into your neck rest if you need to those arms can come as high or as low as they feel comfortable one more more or less either side And on an exhale, we'll take those hands all the way down. As if you have mason jars at the side of you, opening and closing, sliding those lids open and closing from the shoulders, so not just from the wrists, to release any tension through the shoulders. Hands onto the legs. And then from here, taking those feet just a little wider, hands to the thighs, and we'll roll through the rib cage as if we're hula hooping through those lower ribs. Feet and seat are rooted, and we circle. Keeping the breath, the wave of breath, 
the inhale, the rib cage surges forward, and the exhale, rolling and rounding back. This can be an imagined move or a big or a small move, your choice. And when you're ready, you will pause and go back in the opposite direction. Again, rest if you need to, change it up, close your eyes if you feel stable, allow this to be your movement. There's no right and wrong way for you to do this. And if you want to change or add something, go ahead. Another two. And we'll come all the way back to center. And from here, heel toeing the feet in towards each other. From here, if you're sat forward on your chair, you may want to sit back a little if you are worried about support. Bring down through that left foot. We're going to lift up through the right heel, taking the legs to the side or underneath that right knee. Toes to the floor. Allow the arms to be long here, and it depends on how long your arms are um, to what is comfortable for you. There's no right and wrong. Widen through the collarbones and lean back with the shoulders to lift the foot off the floor. And for some of us, that might not be very far, or for some of us, it might be depending on the length of the bones. So the right foot is off the floor. We're gonna circle through that ankle. One direction, as slow and as steady as you can with that wave of breath and back in the opposite direction, keeping those collarbones wide, keeping the breath steady. Coming back to center and taking a little flex in that right foot. From here, this is the exhale. On the inhale, lifting up through the toes, extending the leg, exhaling slowly and steadily down. So we're inhaling and exhaling. That leg does not have to come straight. We've got a little flex in that heel to get into the back of the right leg. So maybe the movement is very small for you or maybe the foot rises a little more and you feel more extension. One is not right or wrong, one is not better or worse. You're simply working with the breath. Option, next time you extend the leg to stay. Now if it feels more comfortable for you, keep the heel on the floor and extend the leg releasing the hands or if it feels comfortable and stable here keeping the foot elevated widen through the collarbones pushing down through the thigh into the hands stay here or root down through the left foot and start to release some pressure from your hands a little or a lot, no big deal. Steady breath. Last three breaths, the option is to release the hands or simply release a little bit more pressure, your choice. One more breath. Hands come back to support. Right foot comes all the way down. Hand to the knee. And we're washing the knee in and out. Mm -hmm. So here we're getting the ankle, the knee, and the hip involved. Same thing, other side. So maybe the side feels different and you need more or less support. So sliding forward or back in your chair. Root down through the right foot. Hands come to the left leg, lifting up through the heel. Foot to the floor, toes to the floor. And maybe this is where you stay. Or hands can interlace underneath, 
or we sit back with the shoulders so we lift the left leg up. Anything that feels comfortable for you and take breaks when you need to. Circling with the left ankle. One direction, slow and steady. And then back in the opposite direction. Don't worry about clicks and clacks. Simply listening to what your body's telling you if you need to do less or more. And then we pause, take a flex in the ankle, widen through the collarbone so the chest does not collapse. This is the exhale. On the inhale, we're extending, exhaling, slowly curling. And I know it feels super easy to drop that leg down, but we want the resistance of the exhale. It doesn't matter how extended that left leg is, we want the slow curl of the exhale to start to build strength and stability. Take breaks when you need to. Great place to be right here. Getting that flexion and extension through the knee, feeling into the back of the left leg. Option to extend the leg any amount and stay. Now if it feels more comfortable to have the heel on the floor, draw the toes back towards you and release the leg, please go ahead and do that. If the leg is extended in the air, it doesn't have to be high, but that's up to what is comfortable in your body. Pushing the thigh down into the hands, extending through the heel. That right foot is supporting you, rooting to rise. Option to stay here. Wave of breath is guiding you. Option for the last three breaths to soften or release the grip on your hands. Pushing the heel away any amount. Three breaths. Rooting to rise. Can drop the heel any amount that you need to. One more breath. Hands come back to support and on the exhale the foot comes down. Hand to the left knee and we're washing the knee in and out. Coming back to center. A breath in. Exhale it out. And then come back to that steadiness of breath. Wave of breath. Coming back to that location in your body where the breath is the most prevalent. Feeling the breath and the body in perfect synchrony. And when you're ready, I'll meet you down on the floor, take any support that you need, and bring along with you anything you need for relaxation. And I'll see you there. Here we are, down on the floor, coming all the way down to your back, knees to the sky, feet to the floor. Set yourself up so you feel comfortable. If you need extra support underneath your back body, softness, go ahead and take what it is that you need. From here, knees are raised, feet to the floor, and feet are around about a hip distance. From there, come back to the wave of breath. And it might feel very different now you're lying down. On the inhale, you might feel your back body expand, pushing down into your mat. You might feel the rise and fall more through your chest or belly. Notice if that location where your breath feels the most present is still the same. No judgment, things can change. And once you feel settled, we'll draw the right knee in towards us. Little flex in the right ankle 
and give yourself a little hug, hands to the side of the thigh, underneath the knee, or even in front of that shin. Allow your bones to settle heavily into the support underneath you, from the back of your skull all the way down through your back, the back of your pelvis, shoulders, breath is supported. Those waves of breath. And that breath is also supporting your movement. So hands can come down next to your hips or in a cactus or a T, whatever's comfortable. From here, keeping a little flex in that right ankle, left foot is rooted. We're going to start to cycle with that right leg. And keeping the circles as smooth as possible. The breath guiding you one breath to one circle. Allow it to be natural and as easy as possible. And if you need to change things up to suit your body, go ahead. It doesn't have to look a particular way. We want it to feel as smooth as possible. The movement can be big or small. Again, no right and wrong here. Keeping both shoulders and both sides of the pelvis rooted downwards so you feel supported and grounded. Two more in this direction. The end of the exhale, drawing the knee back in towards the chest. Take a breath. Notice where you are holding tension and release that tension and come back to the breath. Being that wave of breath. And then we're going to take that round in the other direction. That's the direction which feels a little weird. Steady and smooth. Even if that means imagining the movement or meaning or allowing that movement to be small but smooth and fluid. Or depending on what feels good to you, you can allow that movement to get bigger as long as it's one breath to one circle. Keeping that left foot rooted so the left leg is part of your foundation. Two more in this direction. And then when you're ready, drawing the knee in towards your chest, giving yourself a little hug. Settling down, settling the breath, and finding how the breath is responding in your body. From here, arms come down to where you're supported. This is the exhale. On the inhale, sending that right leg up towards the sky. We've already been here when we were in the chair, pushing through the heel, toes come back. That's the inhale. Exhale, curling the heel towards your seat. Inhaling and exhaling. Keeping it as fluid as possible option to stay here option to take the right leg on an inhale at an angle maybe a 45 degree angle or maybe a little closer to the floor one is not better than the other what we want is the stability in the back body and you can play around with the angle that feels the most stable to you. If the foot is coming along close to the mat on that inhale extension, allow the heel to hover but not touch down. Two 
keeping everything smooth and easy. One more. And bringing that right knee in. Giving yourself a little hug again, allowing things to settle and notice where you may have gathered some tension, releasing that with the exhale. Right hand to the right knee, drawing the right knee out towards your armpit. And this will offset your pelvis somewhat. So keep that left leg connected, that foot connected downwards. Or if it feels okay for you, you can extend the left leg long and that will balance out the weight of the pelvis shifting more to center. Option to stay here, opening up through the right inner groin. Option, half happy baby, foot comes up towards the sky, taking the back of the thigh, side of the shin, or even that outer foot. If it's too much in the inner groin, bend the left knee again, foot to the floor. Half happy baby. Left shoulder rooted to the floor, extending in a cactus or a T to ground the left side of your body. Staying wherever you are and taking those waves of breath. Notice where you're feeling this. Any tension on the inhale, imagine, visualize taking the breath to that area, maybe in the right inner groin. And on an exhale, releasing tension that may be there. Not working against your body. So if you're feeling like you're pushing your body here, please come to a place where the breath can flow easily and the body can stay in comfort. Wherever you are, the left foot has not drawn, is not up to the floor, knee to the sky, then do that now. Releasing the right heel, shin or thigh, and drawing the right knee in. Extending the hips out towards, shifting the hips out towards the right side, using that left foot as support. Option to stay here or extend the left leg long. Left hand to the right knee. Right shoulder is rooted in a cactus or a T. Stay here or draw the right knee over towards the left in a twist. Play with how high or low that right knee comes. This doesn't have to be a static pose. You can simply sway and shift. Noticing how your body feels here. Inhaling and exhaling, gazing over the right shoulder. If you want that twist to go all the way up to the base of the skull. Steady waves of breath. Notice where you feel this. Notice how your body is responding. And if there's any place in your body it feels like the breath is stuck. Spend a few breaths with your awareness to that place, bringing the breath in. Finding movement in your body to guide fluidity into different places. Gaze comes to center when you're ready and the right knee comes up, right foot to the floor, left foot to the floor and shifting the hips back to center. Any adjustments you need, go ahead. With that steady wave of breath, we'll draw the left knee in, give it a little hug, a little flex in that left ankle. Rooting down through the whole of your back body, aware of the breath in your body. Arms are rooted, hands by your hips in a cactus or a T to connect the shoulders downwards. Both sides of the pelvis are connected too. From here, 
cycling with the left leg, keeping it small. We're not in a rush. We want to feel and be aware of every part of the circle, as smooth and as fluid as we can make it. Mm -hmm. As small or as big as it feels that you can keep the breath guiding the movement. Notice what's happening in your body. If you're shifting your weight in your pelvis to one side, even it up, even if that means making sure that the movement is smaller. Another two in this direction. And then drawing the left knee in, you can give it a little hug if you like. Settling the breath, settling the energy. And then arms rooted once more, going around in the opposite direction. And this often feels a lot more awkward and a lot less smooth. So do your best. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're simply trying to blend the movement with the breath. So the breath is the guide. That can be a big or small movement, or you can simply rest or imagine it. Three more. Being gentle with yourself, working with your body. At the end of the next exhale, drawing the left knee in, settling the energy, coming back to the wave of breath. arms connected down to the earth once more. This is the exhale and the inhale, extending the left leg up towards the sky and the amount knee does not have to be straight, but the heels pushing away. Exhale, drawing back. Inhaling and exhaling. The inhale is always the extension of the leg here. And this may be enough. Keeping both sides of the pelvis rooted and grounded. So there's no tweaking or twisting in the spine. Option to start to extend the left leg out at an angle, maybe a 45 degree angle. Once again, keeping the pelvis steady, as steady as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. Option to extend that left leg along towards the mat, but not connecting down. Keeping the movement smooth and steady. So much stability going on through the core of the body and through the entire left hip, all the way through to the heel and the toes. Breath is easy and if you need to take a break at any point, please do. Two more. Next time the left knee comes in, give it a little hug. Left hand to left knee, right arm is rooted to keep the shoulder down. We're drawing the left knee out towards the left armpit, opening up through the left groin. Great place to be. Option to stay here. Noticing what's happening in your pelvis. For most of us, our weight will have shifted to the left side. Option to extend the right leg out and notice what happens in your pelvis then. If this doesn't feel like it's something that works for you, come back to the bent knee, foot to the floor. Option to stay here, option to lift this flat of the foot up towards the sky, any amount. Hand to the back of the left thigh, outer shin, or even the outer foot. Getting through the opening of the left groin, 
And the option is always to bring the right knee to the sky, foot to the floor to feel that grounding. Steady breaths. Again, not working against your body. Wave of breath. And any discomfort, change things up, adjust or adapt. Take your breath to the place where your body is loud, offering softness and adjustments or taking the breath right there, finding softness on the exhale. You know your body better than anybody. What does it need here? Another few breaths unless you want to rest. Left foot comes back towards the seat. Right foot to the floor if it's not already. And then we shift the hips over to the left. Stay heel, right leg long. Left shoulder to the earth. Right hand to the left knee. Drawing the left knee over to the right. Any amount to get that twist through the spine, allowing yourself the freedom to move and shift within this shape, pulsing or staying in stillness, supporting yourself if you need to, if that feels better. Gaze over the left shoulder if that suits you. If the left shoulder is grounded, so the neck is supported. Steady, easy breaths. The wave of breath in your body. And then when you're ready, gaze comes to center. If you are glancing over the left shoulder, Left knee draws up, foot to the floor, right knee bent also, foot to the floor and shift yourself back to center. Constructive rest, heels part, knees towards each other, great for the lower back to stay in relaxation here. Or extend yourself out in your own way to a place that feels comfortable for you. No right, no wrong. It can be on your side, on your belly, on your bed. You can sit up. And as you get comfortable, I'll come up to a seat to guide you. So settling in, wherever you are. Adjusting your body in your own way. And as you're ready, take a breath in. Exhale it out slow and long. Mm -hmm. Take a breath in. Hold the breath at the top. And exhale that out. Three more just like that. Inhale, hold. And allow the breath to sweep out. Every exhale, finding yourself settling a little deeper into the support underneath you. And let the breath come back to its own natural rhythm. As the energy settles and your body settles into that support. Notice how your body is feeling after all the movement. Noting 
if certain places are trying to give you information. Not needing anything to be different than it is, simply being aware. Notice if you've given yourself permission to release your body towards the support or if you're still holding in some areas. No judgments here, simply noticing. And rest your awareness simply on your breath within your body. You don't need to change the breath in any way. You're simply following your natural inhales and exhales. The wave of breath. Notice where you feel the breath is most present in your physical body. It might surprise you where your awareness is drawn to. Start to expand your awareness into your whole body from the crown of your head to the tip of your toes and fingers. And feel your whole body responding to the breath. The expanding of the inhale, the softening of the exhale. No forcing, just resting your awareness. that harmony between the breath and the body. in and out, simply watching the harmony of the breath and the body as they work together. The inhale like a wave in the deep ocean as it rises and the soft fall of the exhale as it comes back into the sea. Listen to the sound of your breath as it comes and goes, sounding like the ocean itself and the waves on the shore.
breath as it comes and goes within your body. You can stay here for as long as you like, riding the wave of the breath. And if you wish to stay longer, simply tune my voice out. For those of you who would like to finish your practice, settle your awareness back into your body, noticing the support underneath it in all the different places it's supported. Without needing to look, become aware of the environment around you. Reorient yourself into that space, just with your awareness. Aware of where you're resting within the space that you're in. Inhaling a little more mindfully, filling your body with energy. Exhaling, releasing and relaxing that breath. And as you focus, on that, allow movement, soft, gentle, lazy movement to return to your body in your own way. Maybe you need next to no movement at all to finish your practice. Simply coming to a place where you would like to end or allowing bigger movements to arise. Taking the next few moments to come to a place where you would like to finish up today. Settling down into the support underneath you. Rooting to rise. Hands coming into a gesture, closing that feels comfortable for you today. Taking a breath in, exhaling, settling your gaze, chin down towards your chest and your mouth, or closing your eyes. Feeling the wave of breath within your body, your body responding to that breath. Knowing you can come back to this integrated body breath feeling at any time to come back to the present moment. Thank yourself for your practice, for your attention. I thank each and every one of you for being here today. Namaste.